All right, so I'm gonna show you a perfect sharing dish. It's packed with flavor. I'm gonna show you how easy it is to cook a whole snapper. We're gonna marinate it with some jerk marinade. It's gonna have some rum in there, a whole bunch of other flavors. And then to keep it healthy, we're gonna serve it in some lettuce cups with some avocado and some pickled cucumber. Let's get started. So our first step is to clean up our snapper and to make our jerk marinade. So to clean our snapper, all you need is some scissors and a knife. So this has already been scaled and gutted, which you can get your fishmonger to do. Follow up on the gills. Cut your wings off. And I know what you're thinking. Fish wings are delicious, and they are delicious, so don't throw them away. These are like chicken wings of the sea. We're just gonna finish these off with the snapper in the oven. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make three incisions so that the marinade can soak into the fish, and when we cook it, the flesh is gonna flake off beautiful and tender. Other side, one, two, Three. And that, my friends, is a perfectly prepped snapper, ready to be marinated, ready to be barbecued. Incisions to take in that flavour, scales removed, fins removed so that they don't burn and go charcoal and black. Okay, so our next step is to make a jerk marinade. Literally chop your ingredients up, throw everything into a blender or a food processor, bring it together till it's smooth and you're good to go. You want it to be smooth, you know, still chunky. You know, you can see the coriander bits in there, but you want it to be smooth and sort of all combine evenly. Marinade's done, now it goes straight onto our fish. So we're gonna get some inside the cavity here. And you want it to be all over this beautiful fish because you want the flesh to take in that flavor. The top through the skin and the incisions you've made, so make sure it gets in there. Give it a really good brush all over it. Okay, so our beautiful snapper, our whole fish is marinated. It's gonna go into the fridge for 12 hours and then we're gonna start cooking. Okay, so yes, this is movie magic. I had one prepared earlier. This is a snapper I prepared yesterday, it's ready to go. So what we need to do now is get our griddle or your barbecue hot. So preheat it. If you're using a gas barbecue or cold barbecue, fire it up nice and early, get that heat in there. Placing it away from myself, straight into the pan. Oh, it smells so good. The sugars are caramelized. You can smell the coriander and the chili and the ginger sort of releasing all their flavor in the air. So I've sort of grilled both sides. I've just flipped it. What I'm gonna do is throw it into the oven at 200 degrees just to finish it off. So it's gonna be in there for like five minutes. That's just gonna finish off the head finish up that caramelization, and then gonna pull it out, it's time to eat. So what I love to do with, you know, whole barbecued fish, especially with this jerk marinade, is to serve it in some really nice sort of lettuce cups. It's just a really nice way to sort of have a balance of flavors and textures, but also a fun way to eat it. You know, people can, you know, make their own, and build their own little, little lettuce parcels. Two, three. Okay, so our fish is cooked, it's caramelized, it's delicate, tender, and delicious. All we need to do now is to build our lettuce cups. So, we'll start with beautiful lettuce, a bit of avocado, some pickled cucumber, a few herbs, delicate fish on top, and we, good to go. Beautiful barbecue jerk marinade whole snapper in a sexy, healthy little lettuce cup. Thanks for watching. Do me a favor, subscribe. If you like what we do, share us with your buddies because we want to hit 80,000 subscribers and we will see you next week. Yew.